we just made this one, this stage, uh, which is a copy of this. And the next thing to do is we're going to make this stage. And the way we make this is by adding eight other rings. So we have these eight rings, and we've opened them fully so that we can take other rings and go like that. And what we're going to do is take two yellows and go through them and then close completely. That's the very first one. And this part is a bit difficult to catch. So I'm going to show. Um, you can see this one here. The rings, the yellow rings, kind of go around like this. Um, and what do I mean by that? So the yellow ring right there is on top of that yellow ring, which is on top of that yellow ring, which is on top of that yellow ring. And that one's on top of that one, and so on, all the way around. And so you can see that they go around counterclockwise. So we want to make sure that when we make our copy of it, we do the same thing. The very first green uh, ring that we put in doesn't really affect whether the yellow ones are going clockwise or counterclockwise, but the next one that we put on will. It'll lock in whether it's going clockwise or counterclockwise. And we want to make sure that we match the other one. So we want ours, the one that we're building right now, to match the one that we made before. So we're going to make sure that the next yellow ring uh, goes counterclockwise, so it's going to be underneath the uh, rings that are already uh, joined together by the green ring. So yellow rings are now, this one is on top of that one, that one's on top of that one, and we're going around the circle counterclockwise. I'm going to overlap them like so, and you can see that there's a hole uh, right there where the two yellows overlap and I'm going to put this green one right through that hole, like that. And now I'm going to close up that green one completely. Completely closed. And then I've locked in. These three yellow rings are now going counterclockwise. And I want to keep doing that for the rest of the the row. I want to when I add a new green ring, I want to, to go through one more yellow, and I want it to make sure that the yellows are going counterclockwise. So, um, and the green rings um, are they end up going clockwise at the same time. So I've closed up, I've added that new ring, and I'm going to add another green ring. And there, the yellow, I'll bring it like this. Uh, so you might have, like, oh, you get lose track. You can always um, go like that, and then kind of bring all the green rings together and then eventually you can get them to fall in a specific way. Oh, did I mess that up? No, I did not, okay. <laughs> All right, so here the green rings are falling such that the uh, yellow rings go around that way still, and I gotta bring another yellow ring up next to the yellow rings that are already joined together. So this is a loose ring, and I bring it right up next to the yellow rings that are already joined by green ones, and I'm going to join this one to this one, this yellow ring to this yellow ring, using one more green one, like that. And close it. And it's the same idea. Um, I hold up this green ring, and there's two yellow rings. One of them is going to be next to a loose yellow. I bring up that loose yellow next to one, uh, the 
yellow that's already attached by a green one. And I'll bring a new green one through where they overlap. Keep doing that eight times. The very last one is going to be a little bit uh, difficult to see, but here I'm holding this green one that I just added. There's two yellows. One yellow is attached to the previous ring uh, with this green one down here. And one yellow is next to a free yellow, and I'll join that together with another green. I'm going to overlap them and then put this through where they overlap. And as I go, every ring I add, I should still be able to get them all to lay out nicely like this. If it doesn't lay out nicely like this, then uh, you need to take off a ring and put it back on again in a different orientation. Um, actually, I will show right now a common uh, problem that happens. Sometimes you might accidentally add uh, a ring like this. So I'm going to go through a, a yellow that was joined to another yellow and a yellow that is a brand new yellow that I'm joining to the rest of them but I did it on the wrong side of the other green one. So now when I try and lay it out, it doesn't really lay out nicely. So we got this one's on top of that one, that one's on top of that one, that one's on top of that one. But when we go back this way, we see this one's under that one, that one's under that one, that one's under that one. This green one is on top of that green one. So this green one, uh, doesn't follow the same pattern that the rest of these do. This one's under that one, 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 this one's on top of that one. So this is the odd one out, so we need to fix it. And the way we fix it is uh, we need it to be on the other side of the... Uh, we need this one to still be attached to this yellow but it needs to be attached on the other side of this green. So we're going to detach it from this yellow and then attach it on the other side of this green one. So let's open it up. Do, do, do. Open. And then I'll bring the green one back. So we want to be attached to the yellow, but on the other side of this green. So we're going to take it off of the yellow, go to the other side of the green, and then put it back on that yellow, and then close it up. And now, if we play with it a little bit, we can get it to lay out nicely, hopefully. Um, now we have this one's under that one, that 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 one's under that one, and this one is now under this one. Yay! Everything worked out nicely. And I think I have one more left. So this one is tricky. I've mentioned that a couple times. This last one is tricky. Um, we want the pattern where uh, these yellow ones go counterclockwise. Um, this one's on top of this one. 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 This one should be on top of that one. So if we play with the rings enough, we can orient it so that this one ends up on top of this one. And there's an overlap there. I'm going to take this green one and put it through where they overlap. If I can do that and show it nicely on the video, that would be good. Like that. And then I will close it, and that will be a match for the other one that we were trying to make. So this one here, and now hopefully this one here looks similar. And again, I'm going to check just to be sure that they both go in the same direction. Um, so the yellows here, this one's on top of that one, that one's on top of that one, that one's on top of that one, and they kind of go around like that. And the same thing here. If, if we got rid of the green ones, if all we had were the yellow ones, they would kind of fall in this direction. So they match, and that's good. 
And that's it.